We have been working to get you answers about this. Lights shining bright in downtown Houston last night while so many families were in their homes with no electricity and no heat. A lot of you have been emailing and calling us about this. So we had our KPRC2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum look into it. And Joel, you posted about this on your Facebook page last night and people were fired up. Chris, this is really one of those stories where you want as a reporter to do more than just highlight the problem, you really want them to fix this problem. You've got more than a million households tonight that don't have power. Let's get with the program. Things are a mess this week. A lot of people are suffering. And to add outrage to the equation, this. Downtown Houston lit up like business as usual Monday night. People Curious power. since our local leaders were preaching the opposite. When it comes to power, conservation is the key. If you do have power, conserve as much power as you can. In downtown Houston, that message did not appear to resonate Monday. By contrast, in Fort Worth, they made a spectacle of shutting off the lights. Dallas dimmed their skyline too. From my Facebook page, quote, not funny. Hundreds of patients at home on ventilators without electricity. This is so wrong. People are freezing in their homes and businesses that should be closed are all lit up. Way to go, Mayor. The mayor has made it clear Houston's power problem is not his fault. And to be fair, downtown hotels were packed Monday. And these would appear to be private businesses and corporations illuminating their empty offices. Still, Mayor Turner did address the issue Tuesday after we inquired. And certainly uh, I have uh, asked um, uh, the downtown management district to assist, also Centerpoint to assist in notifying uh, those building owners and managers uh, to turn off, turn off their, their lights. It's not quite dark yet, but this is a live look looking downtown. I'll let you decide whether or not that's improvement. I think it is a little bit at least. There is some activity downtown, of course. You've got a lot of hotel operations. There's a big warming center at the GRB. One other note, the Greater Houston Partnership, after we sent an inquiry to them, they sent out to their large membership uh, sort of a, uh, a message uh, to turn the lights off tonight. I think they've done that at least a little bit. We're live in the Heights area. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.